division and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John, because he's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice straight pass there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Back to his feet. It's 
It's been a crazy fight. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. You know, few heavyweights have been as active and few have been as effective as Lewis, dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continues to pile up the UFC wins, and he adds to that total here tonight. <laughs>